Hello, welcome back. This is Minecraft Bytey and I'm back here for another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install a Minecraft texture pack called Realistico, which essentially adds um, 512x um, textures to Minecraft and bump mapping, provided that you have the Minecraft shader mod installed. So there's going to be a link in the description to the website um, for Realistico, um, and it is um, hosted on the website of the mod author, or the texture pack author. Uh, so essentially when you get to the home page, um, you'll need to click um, Get It, uh, the Get It button. Uh, now the layout may change in the future, um, but uh, hopefully it's um, still fairly similar. And, uh, anyway, so once you click that, it'll automatically scroll down on a page, um, and you need to download both of these links. Um, so open this link and open that one, um, and it will open into a um, shortened uh, URL ad server. So you basically need to wait um, for the um, uh, for a skip button to appear. That may be may, this may be like five or ten seconds. Um, and then it may redirect you to Mediafire media after that. So once you've downloaded both of them, uh, you'll need to head over to your Minecraft Downloads folder and look for Realistico 1804M um, and Realistico 1806. Now of course 04 and 06 uh, may change in the future once the once it is updated, but the thing to note um, is that uh, one, one of them has an M and one of them doesn't, um, uh, or um, basically is a or this difference may change in the future, but um, uh, but that should be that should be the difference to, um, between them. Uh, so next, you need to head over to your user folder, um, and uh, you'll need to um, type in backwards slash. Uh, so once you've clicked um, the URL bar here, uh, type in uh, app data. Uh, press enter, and uh, double click to go to the roaming folder, and then double click to go to the dot Minecraft folder. Uh, and head over to the resource packs folder. Uh, now, um, you can leave everything that is in there currently, uh, but um, uh, essentially what you, all you need to do is just copy the two zip files into here, um, and if you want to copy them instead of moving them to keep a backup of them, uh, then you can hold control on your keyboard. So once you have done that, uh, you will need to open up your Minecraft launcher uh, and install the shaders mod. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for a guide on how to install the shaders mod um, of all links to install the shaders mod. Uh, so once you have the shaders mod installed, uh, then um, you'll need to open up your Minecraft launcher and select uh, your Minecraft version and shaders mods in the profile. Uh, then click play. So once Minecraft is opened up, um, then you will need to go to options, uh, resource packs, um, and uh, essentially, you need to um, select uh, both of these resource packs, and I'm not sure if the order matters, but what I do is put the M version first, um, which looks purpley, um, but over here, and then put the normal um, looking version, which is just black and white, um, doesn't have the M at the end, um, into the resource packs, and make sure that nothing else is here other than the default texture pack. So once you have done that, you can just click done, and then load up a Minecraft single player world, or head over into a Minecraft server, and uh, make sure you have make sure you have shaders enabled. Uh, so I'll just um, cut the video here and show you what this looks like inside Minecraft. Okay, so let's check out what the texture pack looks like once it is enabled. Um, so as you can see, uh, lots of lots of things have um, bump mapping enabled um, and also high res textures. So we have a look at a, at grass, for example. Uh, then grass looks um, pretty awesome, um, especially the um, dirt textures in it. And if you look at the um, top also, and even some different things like um, tall grass um, have high-res textures which look pretty awesome. Uh, so anyway, let's just head over to a few blocks um, uh, which have compiled, which have high-res textures. Uh, so um, firstly is cobblestone, uh, which looks pretty awesome, uh, I think. Um, so um, this is actually a bump mapping. is actually basically an optical effect because uh, as you can see here, everything's the same depth, but when you look at it from an, um, from most angles, um, due to the reflections and everything, it looks like this block is actually 3D, meaning that um, uh, different textures basically have different depths depths inside this block. Um, and uh, also here is a wooden plank. Uh, now as you can see, some of the blocks look like they're wet. Um, this basically helps with the bump mapping effect. Um, because um, basically this allows for more reflections. So as, as you can see here, for example, um, the um, actual lighter wooden part reflects a lot, 
um, but the darker wooden part does not reflect, um, which essentially helps with um, making it look really awesome. Uh, so as you can see, um, see over here, uh, here is some light grey wool. Uh, and this uh, looks pretty cool also. Uh, this is some redstone, um, and as you can see, the depth um, is basically goes kind of go. The redstone, actual redstone parts, goes inside the block. But with some of the other ores, it actually goes outside of the block um, visually, like gold ore, uh, diamond ore, and um, of course um, there are few, uh, there are quite a few blocks which haven't been done because I imagine it takes a lot of time to actually create bump mapping um, for every single texture in Minecraft, considering um, I believe there are hundreds. Um, but anyway, I think the author has done a pretty good job and is continuing to update the texture pack um, regularly. Uh, so anyway, yeah, if we have a look at diamonds, um, then the actual diamonds part is going outside of the block. Uh, here is uh, nether quartz ore, um, which looks pretty cool. Uh, and these things, look, these blocks look especially cool, um, especially if it's raining or something. Um, uh, this is stone brick. Um, now I don't believe there's a difference with the um, egg, stone brick egg um, block, um, but also this looks awesome. Uh, this is ch chiseled stone brick. Um, and as you can see here, this doesn't actually have any bump mapping, but just the high-res textures add so much detail to this, um, to the textures, um, uh, make it um, look really awesome, I think. Uh, now this is glowstone. Glowstone looks really awesome. Um, so, uh, so I think um, you can do some uh, pretty creative building with glowstone if you use this texture pack together with shaders. Uh, so let's just try something out. Let's just add some glowstone here, some white stained glass. Um, that looks kind of cool actually because you can just about see through, the, see through the stained glass. But if we try out glass, that can look really cool, I think. Um, and also, uh, let's just get some redstone. Let's just get a redstone lamp. Uh, redstone lamps look pretty good. Um, and let's just give it some light. There. So yeah, the lighting is especially good, especially with shaders. Uh, now these are hay bales, um, and this is also l wood or logs. Uh, so if you create, um, if you have trees, uh, then this um, effect can look really awesome. So let's just set the time back to zero, especially with the um, shadows that the shader, mo shader, the shader mods gives. Um, this looks pretty awesome. So you can see the bump mapping effect there. And let's just again confirm that this is an optical illusion. There isn't actually any. Um, uh, there isn't actually any depth um, to the blocks. Uh, now let's actually set the time uh, to night time. Um, and uh, as you can see, there's still the lighting looks pretty cool. But if we disable the lighting, uh, then you can see the ores look um, even. I would say even cooler because it looks like the looks like there's liquid or something inside them, um, especially with the moonlight. Uh, see, so yeah, there's gold ore, there's diamond ore, and yeah, this looks really awesome, I think. Um, uh, so, actually, let's just um, toggle down for. Uh, so, if we add some rain to here, then um, uh, this can look really amazing, I think. Um, so, let's just set the time to daytime again. Uh, okay, so, as you can see here. Uh, now I think that um, considering the blocks look wet, it actually seems to fit fit in better when there's rain. Um, but anyway, let's just uh, hop over to um, a Minecraft server. So let's hop into the Hive server, check out what it looks like, um, and some things look especially awesome, like snow. So as you can see here is the uh, that, um, and with some large creations, the reflections um, add, can add quite a bit of depth. It does look a little weird sometimes though. But here you can see some things like snow. Um, have a lot of texture and depth. Um, like it doesn't even feel like the pixels have bump mapping. It feels like the whole texture is bump mapping. Uh, so yeah. Uh, anyway, you'll end the video here. I hope you found this um, guide helpful, and I um, uh, hope that this helps some, a lot of people recognize this awesome texture pack um, uh, because I really feel like it's underrated um, and basically makes the shader mods twice as awesome. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching.